Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of the new server. We are jumping in again and we are going to continue on as... Who are we going to do? Who are we going to do? I definitely want to do a normal character. We could do Eve Mega Satan. Eve Mega Satan's a little bit tricky, but probably worth doing. What are some of the Mega Satans we haven't done as tainted characters? Do we have many of those left? Tainted Blue Baby. Because um, these are always decent unlocks. Tainted Lost... Been a while since a tainted lost run. Uh, also, uh, yeah, let's do a tainted lost run. Uh, also, apparently, I'm supposed to come in here and type in. Um, I think it's sync marks. There you go. Basically, now it means that if we just quickly back out of here, it should be that these characters, yes, they have the marks that they should have in the menu, which is really, really nice to see. Really, really good addition. Apparently Mammon doesn't have any though, but uh, most of the modded characters are supported currently. Anyways, let's continue on that run that we were just doing and see what we can get going on. Hopefully, so what are we doing? We're doing Mega Satan Dark Path. Okay, we can we can do that. We can do that. It's been a little while since we jumped in as good old Tainted Lost, but I feel like I've got it within me, got it within my soul today to give it a good go. Anyways, how is everybody on this fine, fine day? Um, question of the day today is, what did you eat today? Like, everything. What did you eat? Because basically the reason I ask is because I just made... So I've been on my diet a little bit. Um, and so I've been obviously trying to have diet food and make diet food. Um, and my sister and my mum have all, like, we've all joined a WhatsApp group together because we're all trying to lose weight at the same time. So we've been sharing recipes and things that we're doing. My sister the other day made, like, these healthy flapjacks that are only, like, 100 calories per slice. Um, and so I made them as well. Um, ooh, car battery would be very, very nice. Um, I made them as well. And, yeah, they're just, I, I put, like, a bit of apricot, a bit of raspberry in them. Uh, some, some really nice honey. Oh, my God. It's just, they've turned out amazing. It's very, very tasty. I'm liking the fact that our tea is also slow on impact rather than just the creep. That makes uh, flying enemies susceptible too, which is nice. This is kind of like spider bite on crack, kind of. I like that. I like that. We've also got a red rune here, which unsure exactly what to do with yet, but the time may come where we see an opportunity arise that makes all the sense for us. It'll allow us to turn a item into a locust, and obviously there's plenty of things out there that make good locusts. Pop that open. Got a copper bomb here. I'm gonna go back and... I don't know if I want to buy the abandoned box, which gives us a random familiar, or if I want to buy the, um... The 9 volt. I think I'm gonna buy 9 volt, just because in the future it could pay dividends. And as this character, I feel like it makes a lot of sense to do that, so let's, uh... Plop that down and hope it actually bangs. It did indeed. Are we going to get enough? We are one penny short, but that does mean there's opportunity elsewhere to uh, get our penny. There is opportunity elsewhere to get our penny. Uh, just got to figure out where and how. Poop off fires in here could help. Unfortunately, we did not get that. So at the minute, eh, it's not super, super likely that we'll get ourselves what we want here. Uh, secret room. We know it's not there because that bee would have destroyed it. We'll go for a uh, boss first. Ooh, poops. Can you be my hero, baby? No, you can't. What a shame. Yeah, this, this, this creep is really, really nice. Gotta be careful for this guy and his magic herming bullets. They can do some ruckus in the room. Luckily, we've got enough damage to kill his rolling head before it uh, summons a spider, which... Makes this boss significantly easier. Um, and we got Lemonhead as well. Right, okay, so our other chance here is Secret Room, which I'm not entirely sure where it is yet, but I think it's here. I'm gonna I'm gonna gamble on here. There you go. And there's our penny. As it should be, as a water bottle as well. Not that that makes any difference. But we can go and get our 9 volt now. And I'm pretty happy with our items. Um, Lemonhead for that extra fire is pretty darn tasty. Especially with the damage that we start off with with this guy. Um, we're basically now we're hoping for a, like a two-room active charge. Like, good, good old Shoop-de-Whoop would not turn away a Shoop-de-Whoop. That would be rather nice. Um, trying to think of some other things that would be really good to get. I mean, obviously any active that's good is going to be better with 9-volt. But two-room actives just... Mwah. Box of spiders. Oh. All of those can just be... 
supreme. So, so good. We'll, we'll see what we can get. Oh, we, we got ourselves one of these here. Uh, nice hit on that for us. Uh, if we get more bombs, that can open up. Bacana. I almost walked into that fire there. Very nearly. Um, we'll see what we've got going on in here. With insanely increased speed. Um, I think that's worth it. I was kind of hoping that wouldn't lock the door, but it did. A locust with insanely increased speed just means it's going to hit way more often. So, I like that. Unfortunately, a very rough boss to get in this room here. This guy hits me very, very often. As, as he tends to do. He's an absolute bastard. God damn it. So, unfortunately, this run is now at severe risk. I just... <sighs> Fiend Folio bosses, man. Some people love them, but I just I just can't get on board. I will pop all these pills because what else have we got to lose? Dowsing rod. Unfortunately, dowsing rod isn't very good for us because it's it's one of those items that the longer we hold it, the better it is. But it's it's all it's all subjective. It's all random, and that that does not provide a good experience for uh, this character. Yeah, we're dead. Unfortunate, we'll roll it back. We'll give it another go. Losing our holy card there was obviously bad. Oh my god, two poops popped, two nickels dropped. That is the exact combo that you want to see. Up to 12 cent already. That's it's kind of outstanding. I love that quite a lot. Okay, good. Shop anything of use to purchase in here. Unfortunately, no, just the Hulk gloves, and I'm not really that into those. Book of Sin um, can be good. I don't think Lust actually does anything for us. We'll leave that there. Book of Sin can be good. There's, there's a few things it could give us that could be helpful, but I think for the most part, Book of Sin's likely to not be amazing. Stop throwing out corny boys. Yeah, I guess uh, it's, it's likely to not be amazing. Do you know what it'd be way more amazing with? 9 volt. If only we had that. Some alternate reality. If only we had that. You shan't be too bad. Especially with this damage. I don't know why Baby Plum is still the one boss for me that doesn't have... A enhanced boss card. Enhanced, like, boss health bar. Like, all of them have enhanced boss health bars. But Baby Plum just doesn't for some reason. I've never really understood why. Good, good. Great start so far. But we're not we're not holding R on this day. We will take the runs as we come. Good thing about this character is you do, you do have such a good start in terms of stats that you can afford. Nice. You can afford some, um, some L's on the first floor. Like some bad items and stuff. Doesn't actually matter that much. Right, our kid. Charge guy could be interesting. We could obviously get some consumables and stuff out of that too. Little white spiders are annoying the hell out of me. <clears throat> oh god. Yep. Yeah. Knew you were going to try and be annoying. But put your tail off towards me. That will destroy our holy mantle, unfortunately. Rubber, baby. Not the best. I'm going to take pills just because I'm getting quite a few of them right now. Rubber, baby's fine. It's a, it's a little bit of extra damage while we uh, roll the early floors. But late game, it will be very pointless. A so, little bit of a whiff on that, but at least it helps us do our damage early game. And it is infinite range as well, which is nice. Something you can't dispute. And then in here, we've got a bit of a speed increase. Melatonin is, is good, but kind of risky, so I'm not going to take it. It uh, holds us still for a, a short time and gives us a fire rate boost. 
a second holy card. So this run is already better than the last. In fact, I think there is a small chance Book of Sin could provide us with holy cards. We, should, we already saw that it can drop cards. So holy cards are in, in the pool of things we could get. So let's not forget that. Like I said, if we can destroy the head before it manages to spawn a spider, this guy is a, a very easy boss because he just rolls his head constantly. Lovely. We're going angel deal here. Let's not forget that. Grab that. So far, pretty mid run. Pretty iffy. I'd say we've not really got anything run defining, um, anything particularly substantial, but there is time yet. There is time yet. Rubber baby will provide for us until such a time that we can get our own, get our own items that help. These these guys could be kind of awful. They fill the room with bubbles and uh, they do that bubble spurt when they when they die, which isn't ideal. Good. Okay, another one straight away there. Don't bubble. Okay, good. I'm getting slightly annoyed by the the sound of. The laser from good old baby friend here, Rubber Baby. Oh, that was close. I didn't see that second enemy there. Very nearly got hit by him just because of my ignorance. And in this sense, ignorance is not bliss at all. Okay. Shop once again. That's very good. We'll take that. Ooh, Daddy Long Legs. Yes, please. We're getting a lot of reflected items for some reason, but yeah. Uh, Mother's Love, incredible. Just stat boost for all of our familiars. We already had one, plus another that you get for taking the item. I'd say that's, that's, that's pretty hot. I'd say that's pretty hot. Um, having the ability to hold two cards is really, really nice for us. Plus three fireballs. Just being able to hold an additional holy card potentially is uh, very useful. You can't get anywhere. Good lad. Okay. Pretty happy with the run now that we've got Daddy Long Legs and Mother's Love inbound. It's good. Daddy Long Legs is just really, really amazing. The fact that it does, like, a big AoE of damage, but also it, like, does multiple ticks of damage is really nice. There's our perfection. We don't have anything that works with perfection right now, but obviously it's going to affect our room drops, which is going to make Book of Sin more obsolete. But as I said, we can still get cards from it, so it's not completely obsolete. Um, I mean, yes, please. Just to see what we get. Okay, that is... That is no better. I'm still not going to do that. I expected it to spin down to another boss item. I just wasn't, wasn't aware it was going to be that boss item. Bit of a shame. Cool machine though, I like that. Could give you some really good stuff, especially if you get like, um, what's it called? Uh, ch not chopsticks. What the hell is it called? The one, the, the tears up, the sticks. What the hell is that one called? I cannot remember. It's definitely not chopsticks. Splinters? No, it's not splinters. I cannot remember what, for the life of me what the hell that's, uh, that item's called. Toothpicks, that's it. It's toothpicks. Yeah, if you get, like, toothpicks in there, ooh, baby. You're eating good tonight. Or oh, consolation prize. Sacred Heart or, uh, Revelation. Both boss items that can be spun down for amazing results. Plenty of keys required here. That's pretty decent. I'll take that. The fear is a little annoying, but the fire is good. Luck Penny is nice, I guess. Shop once again is available to us. What does a camera do? Creates a flash that destroys projectiles and stuns enemies. Grants a tears up when you flash yourself. If enough enemies are caught, spawns a cool photo. 
I've never really used this. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab it just to see if it's any good. It's a one room charge, so. Oh, dude, that is a that is a quite a big teaser. Uh, I've got I've got to time it right there. If I'm gonna do that. I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see what this cool photo is. Is it just going to be like the Polaroid? I bet it's just going to be the Polaroid, isn't it? Alright, you, you go. I like the, the idea of being able to uh, flash myself like that and get a massive tears up. That seems pretty valuable. We're kind of like rushing through at the moment, but it does stun bosses as well. Good to know. I like it. It's, it's, it's an item that I haven't really experimented with before and I quite like it. Upon dying, he turns to an invincible ghost and a bird flies out of the room center in a random direction. Catching the bird within five seconds will save you and get you back to your death spot. Otherwise, you die. Every time you die, the bird will fly faster and faster, making it harder to catch. That's probably pretty useful for us, to be honest. Stunned you right out the gate. The fire rate bonus it provides me is far more valuable, I think. Uh, right, we're, we're kind of speeding along here. Like I said, um, we're kind of skipping a lot of rooms, but I think as this character, it's, it's fine. That didn't hit me, apparently. I thought it did, but the game had other plans. That was close. It's a very short-lived tier boost, but it it's a tier boost nonetheless. That was a very, very bad hit there. Unfortunate. I shouldn't really play around with this camera, to be honest. It's 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 good, but it's very risky. I should only do it if, like, the enemies are sort of not near me. Otherwise, it's too much of a risk, I think. Or if I'm capturing enemies like that, rather than going in it myself. I just want to see what this cool photo is. It's, it's probably just going to be the Polaroid trinket or something. But I still have to find out. Right. No item room thus far. Again, we've got tons of money. Like I said, glad, to, glad I bought the camera at this point. We are holy mantle list right now, so just be aware of that. Not going to open this door just because I don't think we currently need it. Bum friend, I'll be honest, bum friend, you in my style. Thank you for the offer, but I am not your friend on this day. Well, that was risky. <laughs> I think I will go in here and open these up. Paid out pretty well last time, so... Give me the goddamn photo. Careful of these geezers. Daddy Long Legs, I'm waiting for you to do a lot of work for me here. There you go, I like that. And the stunning you is really good because you just don't fire anymore. I like that. Ooh, golden bombs could be good. Haven't actually got a plan for where I'd use them at the moment, but they are known to be good. Get that goddamn thing away from me, please. Still not seen item room. This looks more like the way to the boss. What champion are you? And does each one of them segments count as an individual enemy or not? Surprisingly, the item room and shop are right here. That's really good. Pisces. Not bad, not bad. More fire rate. 
Ooh, there's an ex extra spare holy card. Ceiling with the stars can be risky, but I'll take it. Okay, that was stupid of me. I keep trying to give myself the fire ray, but it's not really working. It's really difficult to, to line up, you know. There you go, I got it that time. Ah, and I... This is why I shouldn't be using it. That holy card's gone already. Right, keep it going. God damn it, that was so stupid. Such a bad way to lose my thingy. Not worth it. Our boss trap rooms have been pretty abysmal so far. We've got something giving us locusts. In terms of our items from our uh, ceiling with the stars that we got there. Yeah, get, get, get rid of your sights, man. The sun. Pretty useful for a bit of mapping. And clearing out an annoying room, such as that one. Shop again here, useful. It was a little easier if you could if you could like not have to run after it. It'd be pretty good. Oh, amazing! More money to be put into it. Shop what you provide was with. Unfortunate. Managed to stun him, but it didn't do much. Midas touch. Wow, <laughs> so good for us. I mean, technically, it's not awful. Um. Like, if we get some way of actually hitting enemies, but for our character right now, it's not very good. Right, stun you. Stop you doing that. The jumpy fellas are not what we want to see right now. Lots of reflected items. It's kind of crazy. Arcade. Not a great arcade. Oh, we got some sort of bomb item going on. Locust bombs. Ah, that's one of our items, I see. One of our uh, wispy wispies. Right, try and make our way towards item room when we can. Gotta be careful of those war locusts. They can easily creep in and get me. Yeah, I'm not immune to them. Okay, back over towards item room. There's so many trinkets like that that I just I can't see a reason to basically ever take. 10% chance to plant a bomb and it give us another bomb back. It's very, very low odds that that's going to be like the clincher of a victory sort of thing. What the fuck hit me then? Oh, it was one of these little wee little baby boys. God damn it, I didn't see him. That's very annoying. It's a bad way to uh, end up losing that. Ooh, Mum's Knife. Unexpected, but lovely. Little bit annoying to get Mum's Knife right after losing our Holy Mantle, but we do still have this bird item, so all hope is not lost. I will grab this as well so we can uh, steal from Bosch Rush. Good. Um, okay. We're going negative right here. Yeah. And what we got going on in here. Yeah, I, I, honestly, everything in here is kind of trash. Because this guy can throw bombs. This guy fires rockets. That's just fucking soy milk. Um, and Eden's head's just meh. So that, that's a bit of a shame. Nothing from there that we want. Um, so I guess we just go? We've seen, have we seen our shot? Yes, we have. Okay, we just go. Unfortunate, I think we're going to be in a bit of a rough spot here in terms of HP and getting ourselves a new... Uh, getting ourselves a new holy card. I imagine that's going to be kind of rough. But we got to accept it for what it is. Roll with the punches the game gives us. 
hope for the best. Not many things that can drop out of grey chests that we're going to need, but we'll open them regardless. I reckon a locust is going to get us killed at some point, you know. It just seems super plausible. Tell you what is good about the um, the ceiling with the stars. Well, we got a, a bit of protection around us with via these uh, these wisps. These wisps will abdo absorb bullets that come towards us, and that is nice. Okay, good. We're keeping it keeping it cool and collected at the moment. I think not doing too bad a job of that. Beggars and machines that take health, 15% chance to play for free. Not too bad, but not really what we're looking for right now. Good. Just some pennies. Good, good. Down we go. Oh, God, that was stressful. Right, don't know how viable Mega Satan's going to be on a run such as this, but you never know. Torn Photo's good. We'll take that. Okay, we got Vascul... I didn't realise we had Vasculitis, obviously, because it's come up as one of our wisps. Kind of shit myself for a hot minute there. I don't think can still shoot. Unfortunately, we don't have mapping anymore, which I'm a bit peeved about. Polaris is kind of interesting. Eventually, we will get Brimstone with this. Which is kind of beautiful. Basically, Polaris gives us 20-20. Then, I think it gives us a damage boost. And then, I think it gives us Brimstone. But, it resets if we get hit. So, obviously, as this character, it's pretty useful. Pretty darn useful. Right. Crane game here is better than nothing, so I'll just go for it. Sadly didn't get it. Ah, three cards and none of them the card we need. That's annoying. Oh, that was a bad decision. I just revealed all of these enemies that I didn't need to reveal. Okay, Vasculitis means I can't see anything here. And we did get Brimstone, nice. Obviously, Brimstone doesn't add a lot to this, but it is still a positive. Good, good. Angel deal here. Going to give us the halo. Doesn't do a lot for us, but it's good. Yeah, th this is a weird run. This is a really weird run. I don't, I've never actually utilized the bird item before either, so I don't know how like useful it actually is. Oh, wait, we've got regular brimstone now. Wait, what? We've got C-section. Oh, shit. I was like, why have we got regular brimstone? We have C-section now. Well, that's going to make things a little more visually confusing, but it's it's very good for us. It's a shame Eternal Hearts don't give you uh, a Holy Mantle back. Who do you think we'd get C-section? What the hell? I need to be using those fires whenever I can, because those fires do destroy bullets. Makes them incredibly valuable. Also, these brimstone guys are still going to fire. Still pretty darn concerned, but this is... This is good. C-section is a random item from a... Uh, Wisp is, is pretty, pretty top tier.
I still don't know what some of these enemies do, which scares me a lot more than anything else. Okay. Three, two, one, and fire. No, I died. Where's the where's the bird? Where's the fucking I'm still alive, okay. I don't know where the bird went. Uh. Where the fuck was the bird? I'm going to have to go back and watch the footage to see if it actually did fly away there, but I didn't see it. That was a really unfortunate death there, because that run really had it in it, if we would have had a holy card there. Oh, that was fun. But either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this one, nonetheless, and I'll see you guys in the next one.